March is Hexagonal Awareness Month, according to Hexnet.org. And I am a fan of hexagons because I am a mathematician. And I believe that hexagons are very important to life. Alas, everybody does not know about hexagons and about the chess geometry of hexagons. Today, I am giving you a lecture about hexagons. Let me explain to you about the basic geometry of hexagons because it is very important to know about this before you go on your quest of gaming with hexagons. Most people do not understand the difference between orthogonal moves and diagonal moves in a grid of hexagonal spaces. An orthogonal move is when a piece crosses the side of a hexagonal space, like how wazirs and rooks move. A diagonal move is when a piece crosses the vertex of a hexagonal space, like how verses and bishops move. A diagonal line segment is always longer than an orthogonal line segment. There is such thing as a checkerboard pattern for hexagonal spaces. It takes three colors to connect one space orthogonally with a different color with the ABC orthogonal pattern and the diagonal connections are bound by the same color. There is such thing as Hip-ogonal moves like the knight, a 2-1 leaper, like the camel, a 3-1 leaper, and like the bull, a 3-2 leaper, on a grid of hexagonal spaces. To move a piece that has a hip Orthogonal move, you have to think of a parallelogram to go to the opposite 60 degree angle. I have a visual aid on how a knight, a camel, and a bull move on a grid of hexagons. Uh, 
how am I going to name a direction? You name directions by the hour points on the clock. The 12 o'clock is the forward move. There are two different types of orientations that board games can be played on. The 12 o'clock move as the orthogonal move and the 12 o'clock move as the diagonal move. And you may also use the two opposite numbers by analog clock geometry to name specific lines. The rotation in degrees is based on the following formula. 360 divided by left parentheses 2 times n right parentheses. n is the number of sides for each polygonal space. There are many fields that can be formed by using hexagonal spaces. Did you know that the vertices of triangles can be used as hexagonal spaces? Did you know that the vertices of hexagons can be used as triangular spaces? I have a visual aid to help you to understand the comparisons. I match the locations by color so you get to know each comparison. Part 2 will continue next.